Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang. And I'm attorney Gabby Concepcion, and this is KJ. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghali na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Right, apat ako testants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Angel is studying engineering technology at TUP Manila. She likes to dance, paint, play badminton, and listens to K-pop group. Honey is a freshman theater student at UP Diliman. She loves dogs and watching tearjerker movies and series. Her hobbies are eating, singing, and watching TikTok. Sophia is a tourism management student from NTC who loves watching rom-com. Mga romantic comedy, di ba? Mm, di ba mahilig ka rin dyan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Interesado rin siya ito sa mga Victoria's Secret Aba. model. Okay, at ito naman. Naiba. Oo, di ba? <laughs> ito naman si Diane ay BTLED Home Economics Major from PUP. She lists acting as her biggest talent at may K ang hobbies niya dahil mahilig siya sa K-pop at K-drama. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's k panel of experts. First of all, we have Professor Glezi Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. And of course, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History and Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, good luck as we go into our first round. Get ready to buzz in, hopefully with correct answers, which are worth 10 points each. Let's begin. This is round one. Jerusalem is the capital of what Middle Eastern country? Annie. Israel. The answer is correct. Okay, check. Laki na ng iti ni Hani. In the 2023 film, The Super Mario Brothers Movie, Charlie Day played what role, which is brother of the main character? Luigi. The answer is correct. Okay, check. Mas malaki na ang iti ni Hani ngayon. Question number three. In movies, The Age of Ultron, Infinity War, and Endgame are part of which film franchise? Honey? Marvel. The answer is wrong. Angel. Avengers. The Avengers is correct. Okay, check. What word may refer to an insect with piercing mouth parts or an unexpected problem with a computer program? Ang gaganda ng mga ngiti ng contestant natin. The correct answer is bug. Question number five. Which city, which has a name consisting of three parts, is the capital of the province of Misamis Oriental. Hani. Mimaropa. The answer is wrong. Angel. Mindoro. The answer is also wrong. You still have a chance to steal. The correct answer is Cagayan de Oro. In what sport did Carlos Yulo win gold medals at the 2019 and 2021 World Championships. Uh, Sophia. Gymnastics. Gymnastics is correct. Okay, check. The ship Galaxy Leader, with a crew including 17 Filipinos, was hijacked in November 2023 in what body of water, which was also mentioned in the book of Exodus. The 
correct answer is the Red Sea. Question number 8. To what film franchise does the 2023 movie with the title Dead Reckoning Part 1 belong to? Sayang Sophia, what's your answer? Vision Impossible? <laughs> okay, <no. laughs> Question number nine. In what city can you find the 45 foot high Bonifacio Monument? Yes, Angel. Manila. Hindi na pupunta si Angel sa ibang city. The answer is wrong. <laughs> Sophia. Makati is also wrong. Sa dulo ng EDSA, mahahanap ang Bonifacio Monument sa city ng Caloocan. Question number 10. In mental math, what is 25% of 84? Answer is 21. Question number 11. NPC is a government institution that partly deals with data protection. What does NPC stand for? Honey. National Police Commission. The answer is wrong. NPC stands for the National Privacy Commission. Last question, question number 12. Amsterdam and Rotterdam are the largest cities in what European nation? Honey. Europe. Answer is wrong. The correct answer is the Netherlands. And that's it for round one. Thank you so much, Attorney Gabby. After that round, we have Hani in the lead with 20 points, followed by Angel and Sophia, tied with 10, and Diane with 0. Well, Sophia, actually, kanina ko pa ito gustong itanong kasi nabasa ko ang bio mo. Ano naman ang ibig mong sabihin na interesado ka sa Victoria's Secret Models? Gusto mo bang maging Victoria's Secret Model or gusto mo lang ang shows nila? Para sa akin po, dahil maliit lang naman po yung height ko, mas gusto Hindi naman masyado, grabe ka. <laughs> Hindi, pero siguro po, gusto ko po yung show nila kasi nakikita po yung, po yung pagiging confident din po nila na nakakataas po ng confidence sa ibang babae din po na gusto maging model. Ganyan po. Okay, yan. Mamaya kakausapin din natin ang iba pa nating mga contestants. Pero bago yan, paghandaan na natin ang lahat no para siyempre sa round 2. Lahat ng yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! pa rin ang ating karunungan check with Honey leading by 20 points, Angel and Sophia tied at 10 points each, and Diane who needs to catch up with 0 points. At alam nyo ba na tatlo sa ating contestants ay naglista ng K-pop as hobby or favorite nila. At isa sa ating experts ay K-pop listener din. Ano ba ang meron sa K-pop at bakit kayo fans nito? So, so yung... okay. Ang meron sa K-pop kasi hibang na hibang yung eldest daughter ko. So, dahil sa sobrang pagmamahal ko sa aking anak, ay pinapatulan ko ang kanyang kahibangan. Sinisi pa yung anak, di ba? Okay, si Angel naman. For me po kasi, ang um, nakaka-enjoy lang po kapag nagsistudy ka, tapos nakikinig ka po ng K-pop, ng mga music po. Nakaka-enjoy lang po and nakakapagbigay ng inspirations din po. Napapanood ko po kasi yung mga survival shows, tapos Grabe po pala yung hardships nila para para ma mapunta po dun sa goal nila na pangarap po na talaga nila maging idol. Okay, thank you so much Angel. Next naman si Honey. Um, for me po kasi, ang gaganda ng kanta nila, nakaka-induct po. Tapos ang gagaling po nila sumayaw at kumanta. 
Tapos plus na po yung pupogi nila. <laughs> okay, thank you, honey. Si Diane. Nakaka-motivate po kasi siya mag-aral since ang energetic po ng mga kanta nila. And then, yung one girl po na ini-stand ko is nag inspire po siya sa akin kasi kahit may ma-achieve ka na something, you need to stay on the ground. And now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Because correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Welcome to round two. Question number one. This Greek mathematician is known for the first axiomatic treatment of geometry. Who is this famous writer of the book, The Elements? Nobody got the correct answer? The answer is Euclid. Question number two. The WHO is a specialized agency of the United Nations concerned with diseases and safety. What does the letters WHO stand for? Honey. World Health Organization. World Health Organization is correct. Okay, check. In mythology, who is known as the muse of history? Honey. Athena. Athena is Malay. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Cleo. In November 2023, when Javier Millet was elected president, he immediately talked to countryman Pope Francis. In what South American country was Millet elected president? Angel. United States of America. United States of America is Malay. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Argentina. Named after an American surgeon, what do you call the first aid procedure using abdominal thrusts to treat choking? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is Heimlich Maneuver. Which Filipino word meaning peaceful is the name of an atoll, also known as Scarborough Shoal. The answer is Panatag or Shoal. What is the title of the 2023 movie that was recently released to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Disney Animation? Ani. Elemental. Elemental is Malay. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is which. Which plant of the ginger family native to India and Indonesia is also known as Luyang Dilao? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is turmeric. In mental math, what is 20 divided by 1 fourth? Angel. 5. 5 is mali. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is 8. Which epic poem by Homer tells the adventures of the king of Ithaca and his journey home? Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is the Odyssey. Which metal has the highest melting point among all natural elements? It's used in light bulb filaments and arc welding. Sophia. Gold? Gold is Malay. Iron? Iron is Malay as well. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is tungsten. Now to our last question. What 2023 hit song by Doja Cat sampled Dionne Warwick's hit single, 
walk on by. Nobody got the correct answer. The answer is paint the town red. And that ends round two. After round two, silipin natin ang performance ng ating mga contestants. Annie leads with 20 points, Sophia at zero, at may utang pa ang contestants natin as Angel at Diane with minus 10. Pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban. Definitely not. Yes, ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back, K-Check. Prof, si Prof Marla daw may tanong para kay Honey. Honey, kanina na itanong na kung anong meron ba sa K-pop at marami itong fans. Gusto ko rin malaman, ano bang meron sa TikTok? Nakaka-enjoy po siya, tas nakaka-addict din po kasi lahat po ng mga gusto mong panoorin, nakikita mo po sa FYP niyo po. Tapos din po, uh, yung mga trend po, madalas talagang nakaka- Ganang gawin, ganang. Ah, ganun pala. Thank you. So, balikan natin yung kanilang mga points. Si Hani po, leading with 20. And Sophia, 0. And si Angel at si Diane naman nasa negative 10. Habol pa tayo. Pero syempre, meron pa tayo paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 50-point deduction for wrong answers. And to shake things up a bit, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. So this is it guys. Good luck. Let's begin. Welcome back to K-Check, round 3. Let's start it off with Professor Glessie. It is the site of the Dolomite Beach, the area where massive land reclamation projects can be found, and the go-to place to see what has been tagged as the most beautiful sunset in the world. What is the name of this bay? Letter A, Manila Bay. Letter B, Bay Walk. Letter C, Bay View. Letter D, MacArthur's Park. And letter E, the City of Dreams. Manila Bay. The answer is letter A, Manila Bay. Okay, check. Prof. Neil? According to the 2020 Census of Population and Housing conducted by the Philippine Statistics Authority, which of the following is the region in the Philippines considered as the most homogeneous in terms of ethnicity? A. Bicol B. Calabar C. Central Luzon D. Mimaropa E. Sambuanga Peninsula. Sophia. Eat me maropa po. The answer is wrong. Angel. Sambuanga Peninsula. The answer is wrong. Diane. Central Luzon po. The answer is wrong. Honey. Calabarzon. The answer is wrong. Tanging sa rio na ito matatagpuan na walo sa bawat sampung residente nito ay may pagkakatulad sa etnisidad. Matatagpuan ang riyong ito sa timog na bahagi ng Luzon. Bicolano ang tawag sa kanilang etnisidad. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Bicol. What is the process by which plants make their food? A. Respiration B. Transpiration C. Photosynthesis C. Photosynthesis During this process, light energy is converted to chemical energy, which is then stored in organic compounds. The correct answer is C. Photosynthesis. Hey, check! 
He used the pseudonym Pinkian and Di Masilaw for his writings. Who is this famous Katiponero? Letter A, Emilio Jacinto. Letter B, Emilio Aguinaldo. Letter C, Andres Bonifacio. Letter D, Apolinario Mabini. And letter E, Macario Sakai. Sophia. C, Andres Bonifacio. The answer is wrong. Angel. D, Apolinario Mabini. The answer is also wrong. Ayan. Emilio Jacinto. The answer is letter A, Emilio Jacinto. Okay, check. Of Neil. Which of the following is an ethnic group found mostly in Palawan? A. Bagobo B. Hanunoo C. Higaonon D. Tagbanwa E. Talaandi Angel Tagbanwa Kinikilala ang grupong ito na taglay nila ang isa sa pinakalumang sistema ng pagsulat sa bansa. Matatagpuan sila sa hilaga at gitang bahagi ng Palawan. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Tagbanwa, K-Check. Which blood vessels carry blood away from the heart? A, arteries. B, veins. C, capillaries. D, venules. E, nerves. Sophia. Veins, B, veins po. Mali. Angel. Arteries. These blood vessels help keep your blood pressure steady. They control blood flow by tightening or loosening their muscle walls. These are the A arteries. Okay, check. Back to Proclus. One of the theaters of the Cultural Center of the Philippines was named after him to honor his nationalism. He was considered as one of the early Tagalog seditious playwrights and was well revered as the author of Kahapon Ngayon at Bukas and Luhang Tagalog. What is the name of this 19th century playwright? Letter A, Aurelio Tolentino. Letter B, Juan Abad. Letter C, Juan Sumulong. Letter D, Jose Abad Santos. And letter E, Tomas Remigio. Juan Sumulong po. The answer is wrong. The correct answer is A. Aurelio Tolentino. Prof. Which of the following became the leading reformist from Bicol in the pursuit of political reforms in 19th century Philippines? A. Galicano Apasible B. Graciano Lopez Jaina C. Jose Maria Panganiban B. Rigorio Sanchanco E. Isabelo de los Reyes Isa siya sa mga pangunahing reformista na nagsulat para sa pahayag La Solidaridad. Jomapa at JMP ang kanyang ginamit na pen name. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Jose Maria Panganiba. Professor Mar. How is COVID-19 primarily transmitted between individuals? A. Through mosquito bites. B. By consuming contaminated food. C. Via respiratory droplets from coughs or sneezes. D. Through direct skin contact. E. Through dog bites. Angel. C. By respiratory. Just like the common cold and the flu, COVID-19 is primarily transmitted between individuals. Letter C. Via respiratory droplets from coughs or sneezes. K. Check. We now come to our last set of questions with Angel leading with 80 points. Prof. Lessie. This plant is commonly used as flavoring for meat and fish. 
its pink flowers look like butterflies and is mentioned in a folk song. What is this plant called? Letter A, Alibangbang. Letter B, Sitsiritsit. Letter C, Salaginto. And letter D, Salagubang. Angel. Salaginto. The answer is wrong. Sitsiritsit. Wrong answer to... The correct answer is letter A, Alibangbang. Meron pang chance umabol ang ilang contestant natin, Prof. Neil. Who founded the first Sultanate in Cotabaco? A. Abu Bakar B. Raha Baginda C. Sheriff Kabungsuan D. Tuan Masyayka E. Raja Mastura Nagmula siya sa Johor, kasulukuyang bahagi ng Malaysia at nakapag-asawa sa anak ni Tabunaway, ang lokal na pinu pinuno ng Cotabato. Ang kanilang pag-aasawa ang nagbigay daan sa pagtatatag ng, ng unang sultanato sa Cotabato noong 1500s. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Sheriff Kabungsuan. Last question from Prof. Marla. Which scientific discipline studies the Earth's structure, composition, and processes, including rocks, minerals, and geological formations? A. Ecology B. Meteorology C. Geology D. Oceanography E. Volcanology D. Geology The answer is correct. K-Check. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations, of course, to Angel, our K-Check daily winner with a final score of 95 points. She'll be receiving a gift pack from TVUP. We'll see you again on Friday, Angel, when they compete with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. And thank you once again to all of you for joining us and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Of course, to all of our other uh, contestants, Hani, Sophia, and Diane, maraming salamat sa inyo. Once again, I'm Jules Gia. And this is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.